Today we're diving into the fascinating world of chestnut harvesting where millions of chestnuts are collected and processed with precision and care. Chestnuts, native to the temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere, have been cherished for thousands of years. These nutrient-rich nuts are not only a beloved ingredient in various dishes, including cakes, but they also hold a significant place in agricultural history. Our journey begins in a beautiful orchard, where older chestnut trees stand tall, their branches heavy with the promise of a bountiful harvest. As we approach the harvesting season, we observe the natural process of the chestnuts detaching from their spiny burrs. These burrs are a unique feature of the chestnut tree, protecting the valuable nuts inside. When the chestnuts are nearly ready for harvest, the burrs begin to split, signaling that the nuts inside are ripe and ready to be collected. It's crucial to time the harvest perfectly. Chestnuts are best harvested when they naturally fall from the tree. At this stage, the burrs split open and the nuts can be safely gathered without risking any unripe harvests. However, timing is everything waiting too long can affect the quality and flavor of the chestnuts, and leaving them on the ground for more than a couple of days may lead to them being taken by squirrels or other wildlife. Once the burrs have split, it's time to collect the chestnuts. In smaller gardens, this might be done manually by gently rolling the nuts underfoot to release them from the burrs. This method requires just the right amount of pressure too much can crush the delicate nuts inside. In larger orchards, however, the process is mechanized. Machines are used to efficiently harvest the chestnuts, ensuring that each nut is collected with care and precision. These machines are designed to navigate the orchards, gently shaking the trees to encourage the chestnuts to fall to the ground. Once on the ground, another machine follows to collect the nuts, separating them from the burrs and other debris. This process ensures that the harvest is not only efficient but also minimizes any damage to the nuts, preserving their quality for processing. The company is deeply committed to working closely with its raw material suppliers, overseeing the entire supply chain with diligence to ensure the highest quality results. Now, let's delve into the production processes that yield these esteemed products. 
We're, the journey begins with the procurement of fresh chestnuts, which marks the start of the company's processing activities before the product is introduced to the market. Upon arrival, the fresh chestnuts are poured into a hopper via a lifting system with cups and then transported to a calibrator. Here, they are cleaned of any plant residues. This operation also serves to sort the chestnuts by size a crucial step to ensure uniform drying and determine the appropriate processing method. Medium to large sized fresh chestnuts are partially allocated for the production of Castan del Preet and partly for the production of dried chestnuts. The Castagna del Pri is a traditional product typical of southern Italy. These chestnuts undergo a slow drying and smoking process over chestnut wood, an ancient preservation method that lasts approximately 20 days. This process imparts an intense flavor to the fruit once dried and smoked, the product is carefully selected to remove unsuitable fruits. The selected chestnuts are then roasted in rotary ovens at a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. This roasting process brings about significant changes in the chestnut. making them sweeter and more flavorful with a rich and intense taste, perfect for discerning palates. After the drying and smoking process, the chestnuts are peeled using a specialized shelling machine. They are then temporarily stored in containers, awaiting the next phase of selection. The chestnuts undergo an initial automatic selection through an optical sorter, followed by manual sorting by specialized operators. At this stage, a further recalibration is necessary. The chestnuts pass through a calibrator that sorts them by size. The smallest and fragmented chestnuts created during the processing are diverted to a dryer to reach the appropriate moisture level before being prepared for chestnut flour production. These chestnuts are also used to produce chestnut granules. The larger chestnuts are packaged in 25 kg bags, distinguished by the tiger symbol on the packaging. The color of the symbol indicates the four different sizes available. The product is then ready to be loaded into containers and shipped to customers, primarily targeting Asian, North American, and Northern European markets. If you're as fascinated by chestnuts as we are, don't forget to leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Whether you have a favorite chestnut recipe or a memory of enjoying chestnuts during the holiday season, we'd love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting farming documentaries that take you behind the scenes of agriculture and food production around the world. Until next time, happy harvesting.